What up y'all? I'm out here at the airport about to head to Seattle. That's what y'all gonna see next. We're gonna be fishing Diablo Lake and Pungent Sound or Pudget Sound. One of those. But uh be doing salmon, cutthroat, rainbow, stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned, check y'all later. So the first day didn't have too much. We just did a little bit of sightseeing and stuff. Right here is uh, one of the lakes we went to. This is Maramir Falls. We hiked up there and just did some stuff. I seen a little rainbow trout there. This is Anna Cortez where we were going to look at orca whales and humpbacks and everything else and check out the orcas go. Oh, this is B roll for days right here, son. Look at that. Oh man. There they are, there they are, there they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, Cabela's in Tulalip, Washington. I need to get some baits. We're going to be fishing late Diablo today for cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, Dolly Varden bull trout, stuff like that. I don't really know how to do this, so I got to ask and see how to do this. I have a little bit of an idea because you got to use some spinners and stuff like that, but I'm going to try a few different things and let's see if we can make it happen. I got a little telescopic pole I bought from New Orleans, so let's see if we can get it. Hopefully we can catch some fishes. All right, so that's some of the fish that we're going to be going after today in the tank at Cabela's. Big old fish. Well, we're in the North Cascades, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be fishing. It's probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Check that out. That is crazy. All the rocks and the waters are so clear. So, hopefully, we catch something today. And, uh, we're gonna be throwing some spinners, some rooster tails. I had to change out the hooks. I mean, to a single hook because they had troubles on them. And, uh, had to crush the bar because that's the regulations here. But let's get a look at that view right there. That is sweet. So, yeah, that is awesome. We got to hike up three and a half miles to get to the place where we're fishing, Diablo Lake, and uh, then hike back down three and a half miles. So, it's going to be a pretty little tough, treacherous little thing. I'm not used to this. I live in Louisiana. We're under sea level. So, let's get to it. Look at that. That is just absolutely just gorgeous. So, Check out when we get some, baby. So this is the hike. So this is the hike that we're on. That's about how high up we are right now. That's the water way down there. We still got a ways to go and then we got to descend. So after we had done that, we're going to be fishing. <laughs> Puget Sound and about to catch some salmon. I'm tired from yesterday. He has no skin on his heels. <laughs> we did a very, very long hike yesterday, so pretty exhausted. Hopefully today will be good. <laughs> Got this uh, fancy, nothing more than a fancy clothespin essentially, and this will break loose from the good keeper sized wow. fish. Uh, we may get a juvenile fish that may not pop loose, and when that happens, I'll show you the procedure on that. But uh, okay, so you see how I have this in the quick release setting right here instead of down in here. 
I'm gonna lose time trying to get that rod out of here. So I'm gonna go just set it right there. When a fish hits, just grab this forward grip right here. Up and out simultaneously. Up and out, get it down to the belt line. Push it into the stomach. Squeeze the stomach. Grip this hard and just keep that tip up. And uh, sounds like you guys have some experience catching fish, so you'll, you'll know what to do from there. So that's good. You know, let's just keep an eye on that there. Squeeze your thumb on the spool and then rip it right off the cliff. There's a fish. We'll get a nice tight connection on him there. Is he off the cliff? Off the cliff. Okay, all right. I'm gonna grab the smaller handle. Okay, watch this line when it comes up. There you go, there you go. There you go. Nice fish, nice fish. Right in the net, right in the net. Sweet. Okay, let's see what we got. That's where we'll check his fin status here. And what's the... Yeah, if, nice keeper coho. So I'll show you when he gets, good, when he gets it dealt with. That's how it's done. Nice work, man. Way to jump on it. So what he's talking about, that fin. Yeah, so this is the uh, Once he gets it under. adipose fin here. That fish whacker. Let out a little line there. Nice work, nice work. Nope. I'll have you hold that just for a quick second. Can't wait to jump on it, man. That one. He yeah, felt big. Good. Look how white belly he is, just a gorgeous ocean gaze. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful fish. Ding ding! <laughs> you know it, man. <laughs> I'm okay with that. They said it in my coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Oh man, he wasn't going anywhere. Look at this, Jeez. boys. <laughs> oh yeah, he's nice the man. He liked my strip. Oh man, just scissored him right in there, bud. Jim. That's what there I like to see, Come man. On, get it, that one on. I think he's on the clip. No, he's on the clip. Yeah, he came off. 77, 77. A little deeper. To about 12, 12 30. There you go. There you go. Reel down to about 10, but when you drop your tip, make sure you're reeling though. Pump it up to about 12 30. There you go. Nice and smooth. Get them, Coco. There you go, man. Well, you got a good one, Thorne. Yeah, it's got to be a good one here. We came along slowly. Want to crank nice down. And steady. Yeah, nice and smooth on the cranking. Okay, let me uh let me tighten that drag down a little bit more there. Tip up real, 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 real. Here he is, here he is, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Okay, keep him right to the net, right here. There you go, Corey. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. There you go, bud. Nice fish. Nice coho. Is he clip? Yeah, he's clip, baby. There you go, Corey. Go, bud. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Feisty dude, man. All right. That one's pretty. Color pretty. All right, boys. We're doing good, man. It's time to rally in and flay these babies up. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a limit in Seattle. Pretty awesome. Coco caught the big one, and I caught the other two that's a little bit smaller than his big one. So, I missed a big one. Who knows what it was, but pretty cool. Good day. They got into a nice 20 plus pound. So, oh, yeah, that's yeah. what fresh salmon looks like. And, uh, All right, we out here in front of Jensen's getting our fish package. I just figured I'd tell you what well, we limited out on coho salmon or silver salmon and we caught four. Corey caught the big one. I caught a couple. I caught a wild fish too and I missed one big one. I don't know what it was. I didn't get to see it. They said maybe it was a king but we couldn't keep it anyway. But uh, it would have been cool to show it to y'all but didn't get it. But uh, on a good note we limited out. Had a great time. I put all the guides link in the description. I highly recommend Craig Lofton. Great guide, awesome time. Thank you very much. Hit me up if you come down to Louisiana. We had such an amazing trip in Seattle. Got to see orcas, 
a humpback whale. Catching coho salmon, knocked that off my bucket list. A whole different type of fishery, a whole different way they like to fish for things out here. It's just different. Went hiking, fished at Diablo Lake, didn't catch anything at Diablo Lake, but it was a great hike, beautiful views, and uh, my legs are tired. Getting ready to go back home and go back to work, get back to regular life. I uh, hope y'all subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of stuff coming up. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you share this video. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Later.